It feels like every year there's a brand new supplement that's said to have longevity benefits. However, in most cases, they have very limited evidence of their effectiveness. For example, spermidine was quite popular last year. Indeed, there is good evidence showing that dietary spermidine intake is associated with lower all-cause mortality and cardiovascular disease. However, randomized clinical trials haven't found the same effects from supplemental spermidine. In fact, one study saw that spermidine supplementation didn't even raise blood spermidine levels, even at high doses. In this video, I'm going to outline the six longevity supplements that have a good track record of evidence. So make sure you click a like and subscribe to know how you can take your health and longevity to the next level with the latest science. Number one, omega-3s. There is a strong link between fish consumption and reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and neurodegeneration. The main reason for that is thought to be the omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA in the fish. Supplementing omega-3s or fish oil has also been shown to lower mortality from heart disease in several trials. Two 2021 meta-analyses of 38 and 40 randomized control trials found that omega-3 supplementation reduced cardiovascular disease mortality and improved cardiovascular outcomes. Another 2022 meta-analysis saw similar results. A 2020 meta-analysis of 26 randomized control trials found that omega-3s also improve insulin sensitivity and lipid metabolism in type 2 diabetics. Meta-analyses of randomized control trials are considered to be the highest quality of evidence. And there are dozens of these meta-analyses that include hundreds of controlled trials indicating that omega-3s have a positive effect on heart disease, neurodegeneration, all-cause mortality, and diabetes. A 2021 analysis discovered that people with the highest blood levels of EPA and DHA combined had a 15 to 18 percent lower risk of total mortality and 9 to 21 percent lower chance of dying from heart disease compared to the individuals with the lowest levels. A 2022 study also found that the risk of Alzheimer's disease among the highest red blood cell DHA quantile was 49 percent lower compared to the lowest quantile in fully adjusted models. The recommended intake of EPA and DHA combined to reach those optimal levels that are associated with the lowest risk of heart disease and all-cause mortality is around 1.75 to 2.5 grams a day. Taking 2 grams of EPA and DHA combined per day is one of the best daily supplements you can take for general heart health, brain health and longevity based on the huge amount of evidence that we have. Number 2. Collagen there are many human trials showing that collagen peptides improve skin health and reverse signs of skin aging. A 2023 meta-analysis of 26 randomized controlled trials showed that hydrolyzed collagen peptide supplementation significantly improved skin hydration and elasticity. The reason you want to take collagen starting at a young age is that your skin collagen content starts decreasing in your 20s already at a rate of about 10% per decade. By the age of 70, you could have lost up to 50% of your skin collagen content. The dosages of collagen peptides in the clinical trials range from as low as 2.5 grams to 12 grams from marine as well as bovine sources. The main amino acid in collagen that is responsible for collagen synthesis is glycine because glycine makes up 30% of collagen. For optimal collagen turnover, it's been found that you need at least 12 grams of glycine per day. However, your body needs 3 additional grams of glycine for other vital processes. That increases the minimum glycine demand to 15 grams per day to cover the optimal collagen turnover of 12 grams and 3 grams of glutathione synthesis. Your body can make 3 grams of glycine a day itself. The brand of collagen I'm using Nordcode actually has an extra 5 grams of added glycine. So I'm getting 8 grams of glycine per scoop. You can get the Nordcode complete collagen from livehealthy.com forward slash collections forward slash Nordcode and use the code SEAM10 for a 10% discount. Number 3. Glynac. I think Glynac is one of the most evidence-based longevity supplements there is in humans. Glynac is the combination of glycine and N-acetylcysteine or NAC. Both glycine and NAC help to increase your body's glutathione levels. Glutathione is called the body's master antioxidant. Glutathione is very important in preventing cardiovascular disease and neurodegeneration. Randomized clinical trials on supplementing with Glynac have shown that Glynac improves glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, physical function, and reverses the hallmarks of aging in older adults. Whether or not Glynac is going to work in younger individuals without any comorbidities is still up for debate. But it certainly works after the age of 45 when your glutathione levels decrease naturally. Number four, glycine. Glycine alone also has a lot of good evidence suggesting that it has longevity benefits. The three main reasons you would want to take glycine are Number one, it supports collagen turnover. Number two, it supports glutathione synthesis as we talked about. And number three, glycine balances methionine and mimics methionine restriction, which has been shown to slow down aging and extend lifespan in animals. It also promotes autophagy, which is a cell cleaning mechanism. Glycine also appears to have benefits on metabolic health and cardiovascular disease risk factors. In older adults, glycine levels are inversely associated 
associated with metabolic syndrome and cardiometabolic traits. Supplementing with glycine improves metabolic syndrome, including diabetes, obesity, hyperlipidemia, and hypertension. There's also a lot of evidence showing that glycine also improves insulin sensitivity by enhancing insulin secretion. Number five, creatine. There's a lot of research showing that creatine increases maximum muscle strength, muscle power, lean body mass, and even reduces the incidence of injuries during training. This can have a direct longevity benefit as well, because muscle mass and strength are quite important for reducing the risk of mortality in elderly people. A 2017 meta-analysis on 22 studies found that creatine increases muscle mass and strength in older adults. A 2021 meta-analysis found the same results. However, creatine isn't just for building muscle and strength. Creatine is also found to slow down age related disorders such as neurodegeneration, memory impairment, and stroke in older people. Many neurodegenerative conditions are linked to low brain creatine levels. Older adults taking 5 grams of creatine a day have been seen to perform better in memory and cognitive tasks. Thus, creatine improves many aspects of your physical health, such as your body composition. But creatine also has benefits on your cognitive health and brain health. Dietary sources of creatine are red meat and fish, but it's very hard to get the optimal dose of 3 to 5 grams a day from whole food sources. So, so supplementing creatine in the elderly people is definitely worthwhile. And number six, magnesium. Magnesium is the master mineral that governs pretty much all processes inside the body. A deficiency in magnesium can promote heart disease and diabetes. Unfortunately, about 50% of people don't meet the recommended daily allowance for magnesium because magnesium isn't found in our foods and the soil is also depleted of this mineral. Magnesium intake is inversely associated with coronary artery calcification with the risk being lowest at a dose of 450 milligrams of magnesium a day. Adding an extra 100 grams of dietary magnesium a day has been associated with an 8% reduced risk of ischemic stroke. The risk of type 2 diabetes is 23% lower when getting 360 to 770 milligrams of magnesium a day compared to getting only 150 to 260 milligrams a day. You need at least 400 milligrams of magnesium a day and optimally up to 500. The highest magnesium foods are pumpkin seeds, almonds, spinach, black beans, potatoes, and salmon. However, stress and insulin resistance increase your magnesium demand and those people might need up to 600 milligrams a day. Nord code also also has an amazing magnesium that combines six different types of magnesium. Check out the link in the description. This is the list of the most evidence-based longevity supplements there is as of now. All of these are staples in my own supplement routine and I think most people would see benefits by adding them as well. If you want to check out my full evidence-based longevity routine then check out my previous video. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.